Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you could do for this channel is spank that like button to help this video reach a wider audience. But before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, the Free C Genesis eBook. This is a 19 page ebook about basic financial literacy, increasing productivity and achieving your financial goals. It's only 10 bucks. If you're not interested in a book about financial literacy, you can also visit this creator's YouTube channel. It's called Free C God, where he has scantily clad videos of attractive ladies there to keep you entertained. Subscribe to his channel if you like them mommy milkers. Both sponsor links are down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, Pabala wonders how many aura points she'd lost when she caught her man cheating, but she tried beating up the other girl and lost. Notice how she didn't get mad at her man, but the other woman for sleeping with him. The man is the prize and women fight each other for him. What the hell is an aura point? Is that like a ring from the Sonic the Hedgehog game or something? Up next, we have a complete simp saying that it was nice that his wife's boyfriend stayed at their place last night and that they both cuddled with his wife. The boyfriend wanted to kiss her but felt uncomfortable until the simp said that it was alright. He now wonders if anyone else has had to encourage their partner to be infectionate with someone else right in front of him. This looks like the life of an average blue-pilled man circa 2030. But he needs to stop being a cunk and take his wife to a swing club or something. That's what couples used to do when they wanted to get frisky with others. Number 3 looks like Catholicism has fallen. As the Pope says, it's a grave sin for people to reject migrants in their own countries. Well, thank God I'm East Orthodox, and that church doesn't say that. I also wonder how many illegals the Vatican has accepted. Not that many, judging by the size of the walls around the Vatican. Maybe it's time for the Pope to put his morality where his mouth is. Moving on, we have Isla Fisher, finally saying the truth out loud. She says she thinks that women rule the world because they rule men. Manipulating men, that's women's job. That's what women are put on this planet for. That's why artificial wombs and lover bots mean that women won't be able to rule for the first time in history. I think feminism is a subconscious response to the existential threat to their power. That's why I'm the most dangerous man on the Homeland Security male supremacy list, because I really want men to go their own way completely. Number five is Katanji, and she says that the First Amendment hamstrings the government. The Founding Fathers knew that without it, the government would try and create a tyranny. That's why it's the First Amendment and not the 19th Amendment, because it's the most important one. She's on the Supreme Court and I don't think she should be on it if she doesn't have the same principles as the Constitution. Up next, we have a woman that finally caught the person ruining her life. Unfortunately, most women don't realize that until they get into their 40s. Unfortunately, she won't be taking accountability and will claim that it was the shadow of her former self that really let her down. How much you want to bet that she ruined her ex-husband's and kids' lives too? Number seven, what's something that's clearly overpriced yet people still buy it? Tons of things including groceries, a college education, insurance, cars, and just about anything else you pay for. But it's the things that you don't buy that are the most expensive and overpriced, like a girlfriend or wife. You just get the bill at the end and you don't expect how high it's going to be. Up next, German police are investigating after a member of parliament was called fat on gab. Calling a woman fat even when she clearly is fat is now considered a hate crime there. Clearly she's morbidly obese and she still can't hide it wearing a black dress, which is supposed to make you look slimmer. The guy wasn't fat shaming her. He was just pointing out reality. Gab responded by saying, sorry, we don't compromise the identities of our users and gave the German government their fat finger. Number 9, British police have arrested an 11-year-old because of his mean tweets on social media. But if that 11-year-old was an illegal migrant who killed a white person, a cops would probably set him free. Soon most people will be using VPNs and governments will have to impose government IDs to use the internet entirely. This is getting so crazy. Up next, if you want to know why that kid in the UK was arrested, look no further than Keir Stromer. He's been in office around a month and his approval rating has already dropped 16 points. The British people thought that getting rid of a bad conservative government would be a good idea. And now a lefty government is locking up people for years for simply posting memes. The wealth inequality is only going to get worse, and soon criticizing women will get you locked up for life simply for being an extreme misogynist. Number 11, according to Taylor the Fiend, back in the day the office used to be the most common place to meet your significant other. Today most men have learned not to be in the same room as a woman. Women at work have the power to destroy men's lives. 
and they're using it while complaining that men won't approach them at work anymore. Man faces false allegations. Woman most affected. Taylor sounds like a good vampire. Moving on, Toronto's first ever black female police superintendent is demoted over a cheating scheme to help fellow minority cops get promoted. But you got me. At first, I thought this was a dude. If this were anywhere else but in communist Canada, she would have been fired instead of just demoted. I'm surprised they didn't promote her for helping fill their DEI quotas. We don't have a meritocracy, we have a sheetocracy. Number 13, speaking of online censorship, apparently Canadians are among the most active on online right-wing extremism forums. I wish people didn't post things like this because it might still give Trudeau ideas to censor people before he's finally kicked out the government door. It's really nice to see that some of my efforts are now being noticed. Although I'm a centrist, but according to the left, I'm a right-wing male supremacy extremist. Up next, when a woman's fertility window starts to close, she reconsiders her sexuality, gets baby rabies, and jumps a man's bones. And this is exactly why you need to run away from them, especially when they get into their 30s and early 40s. Either that or you get a vasectomy and you start banging anything that moves, while they think you're going to get them pregnant. Meanwhile, you're just shooting blanks with your baby batter. Number 15, the Department of the Treasury is auditing the IRS after 1,250 IRS agents failed to pay their taxes. Rules for thee, but not for me. It's almost as if no one likes being stolen from. These are the same people that demand that you pay them every single cent that you owe them. I say audit them and take their homes and boats and lock them up. It's only fair because that's what they would do to everybody else. Moving on, Elon Musk says, let's make Starfleet Academy real. Robert Picardo, the doctor from Voyager, says, the first step is to support a leader that has Starfleet values, like diversity and inclusion. Oh no, now the doctor is also woke too. I say sure, Robert, but how many astronauts did the woke Boeing Corporation using diversity labor strand up at the International Space Station? We need to stop taking people seriously that play pretend astronauts on television. Number 17, this woman dropped out of Oxford to become an SEX worker, and she has a higher IQ than Einstein. She's smart enough to realize that she can make more money selling her body than her mind. She's making 600 pounds a day, and she'll invest it and continue living a great life forward. My only question is, why are Sims paying that much to boink this? Then again, they all look the same from the back, so does it really matter? Up next, here's a story about a man that got a 15-month jail sentence, but got out of it, by legally changing his sex so he wouldn't be punished for gender-based violence. Looks like this man discovered the female cheat code in life. When Clown World gives you red noses, you honk them. Looks like the masculine presenting trans lesbians of the world really need to unite. This was in Spain and that's normal for their socialist governments. Number 19, here's an article asking if ultra-processed foods aren't as bad as you think. Remember, they want you sick so they can medicate you. This is like asking you what if a good kick in the face isn't as bad as you thought. Processed foods and carbs create inflammation and age you fast, while giving you heart disease and cutting them out of my diet has done wonders for me. But there was a backlash, they changed the article to say that one dietitian is speaking up for ultra-processed food. Moving on, if you're an American voting for Kamala, remember that she halted building Trump's border wall, opposes all deportations, supports sanctuary cities, and funded secret flights for 320,000 illegals into the country. The Democrats want to flood the country with migrants like Canada. If Americans want to see their future look to Canada, where one-third of our country's population in the greater Toronto area is now South Asian, i.e. Indians. Now Indians are starting to flood in to America from the Canadian border too. Number 21, the Indigo Airline is now offering women the choice not to sit next to a man when they book their seats. I'm predicting that eventually there will be women-only planes as well. But if men had male-only spaces, women would try and sue them and have them banned. But seriously, this is a great idea. Lock all the whiny feminists into one section. So now when you book a flight, you'll have to declare your gender so these women can avoid you, but fatties still don't have to disclose their weight. How fair is that? Up next is Coffee Racist. Here's an article claiming that drinking coffee perpetuates white supremacy. How coffee was created by black people for black people. I'm sure that water is racist too, because it was first discovered by black people as well. So are you telling me that Starcux is the most racist company in America? In 1965, people thought we would have flying cars, 
but all we got is racist coffee and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Number 23, women accumulate more credit card debt than men do. But that's okay, because their husbands will pay it off, and if they don't, then eventually the government will probably bail them out. Women also get more student loan debt as well. Most grown women I've known live paycheck to paycheck and had little to no savings unless they were teachers with a forced contribution pension plan. Moving on, Richard Nixon would be a black-pilled incel today. He revealed to a friend once that he was a virgin into his late 20s because he used to ruin his dates by giving women speeches about what might happen if the Persians had conquered the Greeks rather than romance. Women don't care what you talk about. It's the fact that he looks like a doofus that did it. Today they would call him a socially awkward autistic incel and he would be a single virgin for life. Number 25 in the last one, this story was floating around saying that 50 people randomly contracted herpes after drinking Belle Delphine's bathwater. But who would drink somebody's bathwater? Simps, that's who. Unfortunately, the story is fake, but she did sell her gamer girl bath girl for a fortune. I'm sure someone was jealous of that money and posted this to try and sabotage her bathwater business. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making it, then donate it to PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.